Generating a table of values using a Casio FX8200AU is useful for doing things like finding when the value of this first investment is exceeded by the value of this second investment. Firstly, from the home screen, arrow down and choose the table app by pressing execute. Now define the functions. Access function options by pressing the function key, the one that is marked with the f of x. I'm going to arrow down and first define f of x. Enter the function f of x as $50 plus $50 multiplied by 0.05x based on the simple interest formula. Now I'll return to the functions key to define g of x by repeating this process. g of x is equal to 50 by 1 plus 0.04 over 12, all to the power of 12x, as per the compound interest formula with monthly compounding periods. With functions defined, a table of values can be generated. Press the Tools key and choose Table Range. Enter appropriate start, end and step values. My table will start at 1, end at 20 years and go up in steps of 1. It appears that, initially, the simple interest investment is worth more than the compound interest investment. To see what happens to these investments as time passes, arrow down. It looks like somewhere in between t equals 10 years and t equals 11 years, the simple interest investment stops being worth more than the compound interest investment and starts being worth less. Tables of values in a Casio FX8200AU can be edited by inserting rows and by overtyping to enter new X values. To insert a row into an existing table, first move your cursor to the location of the new row. I'm going to add a row in between x equals 10 and x equals 11 to find more closely the time value when these two investments are equal. With the cursor in position, access the table tools by pressing the tools button, arrow down to edit, press execute or the right arrow, and then press execute to insert a row. With the row inserted, an additional x value like 10.5 can be entered into our table. To refine this estimate further, we can replace it or any other x value in the table with a new one, just by moving the cursor to the location and typing in a new value. It appears that the value we are looking for lies between 10.9 and 11. To find it to a second decimal place, I'm going to insert another row in between 10.9 and 11. Not quite there. I'll overtype now to 10.92. 10.92 represents the time in years when the simple interest investment is worth less than the compound interest investment, bound to two decimal places.